What's up everybody? I just wanted to make a quick tutorial for you to show you how you can embed a blog, a YouTube channel, Facebook posts, social media posts, or virtually anything else you want into your GroovePages website. And this is going to be a really quick and simple way to do it. And the best part about this is your content is going to update itself automatically on your website whenever you upload it to wherever you're Hosting it, whether that's your blog or your YouTube channel or your Facebook page or your Twitter feed or your Instagram feed, it doesn't matter. This is going to be able to embed pretty much anything you want onto your Groove Pages website, and it'll take you about five minutes to set it up. So let's jump into it. The first thing you're going to need is uh, an RSS feed generator. I use RSS.app and I'm not affiliated with them or anything. I just started using them a few weeks ago, so uh, I can't really compare them to other providers of this service. But anyways, that's what I use. And so here is uh, my affiliate website for my GrooveFunnels affiliate offer. And um, so say I just wanted to create a new page and I just wanted to uh, provide access to my GrooveFunnels YouTube playlist. Um, I want anybody who comes to my uh, Groove for Life website to see that I also have a YouTube channel with tutorials like this about GrooveFunnels and how to use it. So um, assuming that's what I want to do, what I want to do here is to just keep this tutorial simple. Obviously you can do this on any of these templates that you want, but I'm just going to select this thank you page just to keep this super simple. So I'll create a new page and when this loads in here, obviously the first thing you want to do is uh, adjust the settings. I'm going to drag this down here to hidden pages for now and edit the settings. And we'll call this page latest videos. And of course you want to set the URL to be as relevant as you can to what you're doing. So we'll also set that to latest videos and page title. Um, maybe I'll add a bit more detail here. Groove funnels. Uh, James's latest groove funnels tutorials. Or uh, just latest groove funnels tutorials for now. So um, then you'll put your meta keywords in here. I'll skip that to keep this moving. Um, I'll come back and set this image later. And for a title, we'll just call this latest Groove Funnels tutorials. Okay, so now we're ready to embed our content here. And it's really simple. Obviously, you're going to want to edit this page, the logo, and all that to match what you're doing. But to keep on uh, the topic here, we're just going to go right to elements and come down to your embed, get your code embed, and drop it onto the page. Now, the next thing you'll do is come back to your RSS feed app and you're going to select new feed. And here it's going to let you put uh, a web page URL, pretty much a, a any web page on the internet. There's a few that don't play nice with this, but for the most part, um, so what I want to do for this example is come and take my GrooveFunnels playlist here from my YouTube channel and copy the link address and then paste it into this and click generate. And now it's going to give me a preview and the option to save. So I will save to my feeds. And now I can come to embed and it looks like it's just pulling one video for this. So let's go back to my feeds. I'll give you a better example. We'll delete this one. And here's one I created to my entire channel. So as you can see here, James Jernigan, SEO, internet marketing expert. That's my YouTube channel. And here it's pulling all of the videos from my channel. Um, the thumbnails are taking a while to load because I'm live streaming. I got a lot going on with my internet connection right now. But uh, anyways, I'll come here to embed. And as you can see, there's several different options here for how you can adjust this. You won't be able to fully adjust how this looks uh, using your um, Groove Funnels editor, but you can select between these options here. So there's news wall, which looks like this. And then there's feed, which is gonna give you a vertical feed like this. 
Again, excuse the uh, slow loading time. And that's another thing, when you embed this type of stuff on your website, keep in mind it can slow down your website and uh, that can harm your user experience, which is going to send uh, negative signals to Google. So this won't necessarily help your uh, page rank, but if you need the content on your website and you don't wanna have to come uh, paste links onto your site every time you upload a new video or make a post to your blog or a Facebook post or whatever it is, that's what this is good for. And so here is another option for carousel. And that's simply just one box that uh, slides from side to side. You can see list is another option here. This one looks pretty nice as well. And then finally ticker, which is just uh, like a little, obviously what it looks like, uh, just a scrolling ticker. So um, I think for this example, I will go with, uh, list and I will just copy this code here and then you'll come back to your groove pages click on this click on settings in your code embed box and paste and then you're gonna click save and now it shows up kinda grayed out here but you can click preview and there you go now this is uh, your now my YouTube channel is on this web page and it just took about five minutes to put it there. And you know, I'm gonna go back and spend another 15 or 20 minutes adding some text to tell both visitors and Google what this page is about. I'm gonna put my, uh, you know, my heading up here with my menu links and all that. But uh, that's pretty much it. That's all you need to know. It looks good in the preview. So then you would just hit publish and that would be live. And then the next time um, I upload a YouTube video, it's going to show up on this web page, and that would be the same for a blog post, a Twitter post, a Facebook post, whatever kind of feed you put. So um, I hope this helped you with your Groove Pages website. If it did, you could do me a massive thank you and give me a like on this video. That'll help show it to more people so that uh, we can all get our Groove Pages websites working properly. And if you want to see more tips like this, go ahead and click the bright red subscribe button down below. And if you want to get notified every time I put out a new video, click the bell. And other than that, that wraps up this tutorial. I hope it helps and I'll catch you on the next video.